being the smartest in the room or believing that you're the smartest in the room opens up opportunities for you to learn and be more confident, right? Following on from the previous videos about confidence, we're going to be looking at telling yourself you are the smartest in the room and giving you an example of why this will improve your life. So if you tell yourself you're the smartest in the room, or if you tell yourself, let's flip it around, if you tell yourself you're ill, you have a cold, guess what happens? You convince yourself that you're ill, and most times you actually become more ill because you've told yourself and you believe that you're ill. And so if you believe you're ill, you're more likely to be ill, right? Same applies if you tell yourself you're the smartest in the room. Being the smartest in the room isn't an ego thing. It's telling yourself or also labeled delusional confidence, right? Where if you're confident in your own ability that you're gonna get this job, complete this task, you're obviously more likely to do it, right? So if you tell yourself you're the smartest in the room, but have, and, and telling yourself this brings you this confidence of like, right, I can complete this task that uh, everyone's talking about in this room, or I want to be better than everyone in the room. Like having this mindset of telling yourself you are the best, whether or not it's true, telling yourself that and going with it will help you smash out more tasks, right? And help you become more efficient as a person because you're not shutting down ideas. This is the difference. You're not saying, oh, I'm the smartest in the room, therefore I can't learn anymore. No, that's the wrong route. That's that's the ego taking over, right? You're, you're telling yourself and giving you, giving yourself that confidence that you want, that delusional confidence, let's say. Whether or not it's true, you still have that confidence to do something. And when you get it wrong, you know, and as we've talked about, you accept that you've got it wrong and you work on it, right? So once you understand that you are the smartest in the room, no matter what room you walk into, and you have that mindset, giving you that confidence, you'll be able to approach people, right? You'll be able to ask about ideas or or ask the question why when people are talking, to learn more. You know, like I said, whether or not you're the smartest, you can learn anything and everything from most people, right? If you have a conversation with someone, even if it's the smallest detail, you can learn from them. But having the mindset of you are the smartest in the room may give you the confidence to approach someone and to have a conversation. You know, it's all about this confidence that I'm trying to instill in people. So if I believe I'm the smartest in the room, or it, it's like a it's like a stepping stone into into feeling more confident and being more confident because I'm feeling good about myself. I'm like, yeah, I'm I am the best. Let's go. And therefore I'm more likely to make the first move in conversation, right? David Weinberger said or wrote this quote, the smartest person in the room is the room.